And there was an email that went out from uh, the second female jet pilot. Her name's uh, Captain Retired Mary Louise Griffin. And she was kind enough to let us all know of uh, Captain Mariner's passing last Friday. Uh, the flyover idea came shortly after that from a group of incredible retired uh, women, uh, aviators, who uh, had, had quite a few contacts, made some calls, and, uh, and I think by Monday the, the planning was well in the works. One of the neatest things about this flyover is that of all of us sitting here today, uh, we would not be sitting here were it not for some of the work that she did. Uh, as well, we have two Top Gun graduates. We've got a commanding officer, an executive officer, and combat veterans sitting here. Uh, we would not be here today without her. And none of us are first. And she was a first, mm -hmm. the first female jet pilot and the first commanding officer. The fact that none of us are first is really a testament to her. I can remember in 1993, I was 15 years old, and that's when the combat exclusion was lifted so women could fly in combat in 1993. Uh, I did not know who was behind it. I didn't know what women had been fighting for that. Uh, and I had no idea how big of a, an impact that policy decision was until, honestly, we put this crew together and I was looking at all our bios and I saw how many combat uh, deployments we had under our belt uh, as a group. And it was, it was pretty awe-inspiring to think back to you know, 26 years ago uh, in April, uh, the decision that was made to allow us to do what we've done now, so. Flying today's weapon systems is a continuous process of study. Um, it takes approximately three years to get through flight school and the hard work doesn't stop there, but through hard work and perseverance, you can really achieve any dream and that's a door that Captain Mariner opened for us. So never think because you're a girl, you can't do something. We embody the work that she did because we're here and we're able to fly these aircraft together in division in tribute to her and her service and the actions that she had to undertake in order to enable us to be here and, and that's where our focus really lies. Uh, we obviously want to make it look good for, uh, for Captain Mariner and in her honor it's sort of her last flight and uh, the last testament uh, that we, can on we, we have to honor her uh, you know, as, as all eight combat aviators that are going to be in this flyover. Um, it, it truly is kind of the last measure of, of what, it, what her legacy has left for us.